I literally was talking about the Lord and here go the devil calling. Baby, they offered me $50. $50. Your bowl is on this journey, you know, maybe like what you were liking about Copilot. Well, if y'all want to take it there, we can take it there. Well, see what? Y'all see me get ready. It was like my whole like pre-gym routine today. By the title, y'all should know it's a homebody vlog. I'm super excited to do this because I've been talking about doing this because this is like literally the day-to-day -day if I don't have any errands to run, if I'm not trying to like make myself have activities to do like for content. So actually, I had looked this up. Like I typed in homebody vlog on TikTok and on YouTube and it actually is like a thing. Like, and that was crazy to me because I... Didn't know that people was romanticizing being in the house. Why didn't y'all tell me that was my niche? Because y'all talking about somebody that don't got to leave the house. I don't. I only want to leave the house, I've said before, if you're not new here, to go to the gym like I did today. So today's going to be one of those days where I literally just leave the house for the gym. And it's an overcast type of day. Like, I'm going to show y'all in a minute. I'm about to take a shower. It's not raining, but it looks like it want to rain. Those are my favorite days. Because when it's, like, real sunny outside, it make you feel like... Being in the house is a bad thing, like you wasting a pretty day. But today, like today, uh, but today, like today. A day like today, you just want to get on the couch and chill anyway. Too bad I can't, because I do have to work today. Uh, so this is really going to be like a regular day to day, because I have to work, but y'all know I work from home. So I have actually in about an hour, a call to take with a brand. Um, we're working on some things. And then I have some emails to send. Um, I'm, I don't have anything to edit today, I don't think, but we're gonna play that by ear. When I be finished doing like all my little work stuff, I like to plan out stuff for the week uh, as far as work. I like to do like meditation and stuff like that. So we just gonna see what we're doing today. Like, I don't want this vlog to be boring. I know I'm probably gonna take a bath tonight because I got a real good leg day in and I kind of just wanna soak and tomorrow I'm gonna bench. Um, but I'm gonna try to like show y'all my day without it just being it's super boring because girl like how you make being in the house I guess it's really just gonna be us talking because I'm like well, I mean it ain't much anyway I'm about to take a shower because like I said I have um 
an hour before I have to take this call and I sweated real good at the gym. Y'all, I was running today. I actually ran, okay? And let me show y'all what it look like outside. And again, I need to hop in the shower because I'm real sweaty. So yeah, this is the day that we're having today. As y'all can see, like, it's not like raining. It hasn't rained. I haven't seen no rain, but it's just like dreary and there's no sun. This is a cuddle in the bed type day, but you know, we got shit to do. Also y'all, again, went to the gym, sweated out my hair, and this is kind of like when it dry. So my stylist said, don't be letting that sweat dry on your hair cause it's like drying it out. But I don't have no hair, so, cause he was like, don't let it air dry. And I'm like, okay, but how I'm not supposed to let it air dry? And I'm bald, like it take two seconds to dry. And I know y'all gonna be like, why you don't wrap your hair up? Why you don't wrap your hair up? I'll do a hat. I will do a hat, but sometimes I don't want to wear a hat every day because it just look repetitive. Because I film in the gym, y'all. Like, me at the gym is content. Content creators want their content to look a certain way. So I will wear a hat. I don't like to do it too much because it's repetitive. But also, um, I don't want to wrap my... Like, I want to look somewhat cute at the gym. Like, I don't put no makeup on. But damn, you want me to be in there with bonnet and do-rag? Like... I need something. To, don't be recording. Nobody wants. Nobody wants to see that content. Let's just be real. It ain't me. It's y'all that care about aesthetics. Cause if you look, y'all know I could give a damn. I be showing up on camera halfway, looking any type of way anyway. But if y'all want to take it there, we can take it there. <laughs> before I have to get on this call in 40 minutes and let me tell y'all something about that. So first, I'm about to make like um, a turkey sausage egg and cheese bagel. So I'm using these Jimmy Dean turkey sausages. Two of them are 130 calories and 13 grams of protein. Let me see, look how, I don't like how they shrivel up. Y'all, I don't know why I can't make myself eat turkey. Knowing I'm a pork girl, knowing I want some pork. They're not nasty. They're actually okay. But give me the pig. <laughs> After the pig. They're fine though. Um, so don't you know how I was telling y'all? Like I wanted a little part-time job for like some extra stable income. And then if it was like fitness related, that would be cool. So like I had an interview with Stress Lab. So listen. Me as a person, y'all know I'm 31. I mean, going, I feel like in your 30s, you really begin to know like who you are and what you can do. And as bad as I would like a job that's kind of like fitness related and I can get outside for a few hours in the house and it's some extra income, that's great. But I'm starting to realize I, I don't like time constraints. And so I don't know if it's that I don't like time constraints or I don't like to be bothered, but listen to the, the scenario, right? So I told y'all I had this brand call at 2.30. I have been supposed to, um, I need to put my egg on. I have, I was supposed to schedule this call, uh, so long ago and I've been putting it off because to be honest with you, I don't want to do the call. And I don't know if it's because I don't like being on calls or if like, I just, I be feeling like I don't have time for this, but I feel like it's the time for this thing because this happens all the time. So like right now I'm trying to rush to make my breakfast because I got to take a call at a certain amount of time. I don't like that. Like, I like to move at my leisure, very much so. So when I was doing my, I do my gratitude in the morning. Y'all see me writing on my little um, love sack. I do my gratitude and I wrote like, you know, I'm grateful for being able to wake up like on my own. I just wake up. I mean, I, I don't sleep in or nothing. I get up at like eight o'clock, right? But it's from my own body. Like, I don't have to be woken up by an alarm clock. And that's something that, like, I'm very thankful for. Because um, I like to move in my own time, my own pace. If I don't get to the gym till 1230, when I know I'll be trying to get there at, like, 1030, okay, so what? 
like it's my own pace and I really like that. So how you gonna go and somebody tell you to be there at this time? Cause I'm mad that I'm trying to hear you to do my breakfast. I wanted to do a montage of me putting on my clothes, doing my face, like all of this. But I was like, no, just get to the kitchen and cook and then talk to them because I feel rushed. And every time somebody wants to schedule a call, I don't be wanting to do that. Because I be like, hey, I got other stuff to do. And I do. And I just like to move at my own pace. Email me, can we text? Like, why do we have to set up a time? And I know it's not just because I don't want to talk. Because there be other things that have a time crunch. Except, let me put my bagel in the uh, toaster. The only thing that I don't be upset about time-wise is like, if it's a social thing. But like, if I'm going out with my friends or something, like, I don't care. They tell me 6.30, that's cool. And I, you know, but when it's something like I got to do some work or I got to be somewhere at a certain time, like appointments and I be like, doggone, I got to do this. I ain't got time because I like to move at my leisure. I am a move at my own pace type of girl. Move to the beat of my own drum, if you will. Okay, y'all. So here is my breakfast. It's literally, like I said, just the um. Sausage, egg, and cheese, bagel. Um, Y'all know I have been tracking. So, what this is, 580 calories um, and 38 grams of protein, which is great. We almost had 40 grams of protein and we're under 600. Uh, if I had three meals at six, uh, 600 calories a day, I'll be at 1,800 calories. And I just try to stay under 2,000. But if I go a little bit, like 21, 22. Anyway. I do not like tracking. I've told y'all before. I know y'all going to say, if you like in the fitness and stuff, you'll be like, no, it's something that you're doing wrong or is this or is that. But let me just tell y'all my issue. I swear to you, every single time I attempt tracking, am I perfect with tracking? I'm not going to lie and act like I track every single thing that go in my mouth. No, I don't. I'm saying when I've done it in the past and even now. No, that's a lie. But for the most part, let me just tell y'all, when I don't track anything, I find myself able to lose weight. Not a lot, but I notice the scale, you know, it kind of go down and now I act the fool for a week or two weeks and you know, but it goes down. Y'all, every time I attempt to track, the scale goes up. Please. Cause I'm like, see this is why I like, I swear to you, when I just say, okay, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm gonna try not to eat fried foods. Cause you know, I'll do a little bit. I don't deprive myself. I'm gonna cut back with eating out and I do good. As soon as I be like, no, I really want to like, make sure I'm getting enough protein and track my food just to make sure I'm gonna carry everything. Every time I try to do that, the scale go up. Baby, I weigh 235 right now. Like what? Why? What the, when I wasn't tracking, I was at 227, 228. Sometimes I get to 229, but I was out of the 230s for the longest. Soon as I started tracking, 230s, 235. Yo, I'm not gaining. I know I'm not gaining no damn way. I, I haven't even had no crumble. I just feel like I have deprived myself more than I usually would. Why is the scale going up? I know that I'm not gaining weight. Like real weight like fat like uh logically there is no way but what is this can somebody please chime in and rapidly that's why i'm saying like no like cause i would literally have to be just getting it and eating and so let's say like this weekend i gonna hold you i didn't really track but you to gain like first of all a pound is an extra 3500 calories on top of what you're eating i know fuck well there's no way now i know i was having bathroom problems but i done been to the bathroom I need somebody to chime in. I'm, I need, for real, like, I'm finna eat. I got 30 minutes. I need to let y'all charge a little bit anyway. I'm gonna turn y'all back on for the call, but I really need y'all to chime in, do something, because I'm about to just say to hell with it again, and I really want to try to stay consistent with this, at least to my birthday, but I don't see the point of me trying to check my food when I feel like it put, it do me, it doesn't do any good, like, I don't do well with it. That's why I threw it away when I did, like, it, I don't do well with it. I know I'm not consistent with that, yes. But when I say I don't do well with it, like, I notice, I ain't gonna say I gain weight because it's not necessarily true, but the scale be up and not down when I'm tracking. Anyway, I got somebody, one of y'all told me to get the Kavita uh, kombucha, and this is, I've been dealing in Dallas in kombucha because I've had this before, just like I had a Synergy one before. I don't know if I had the Health Aid before. But yeah, this is pretty good. Y'all, someone was like, the Synergy was the best for ingredients. And I did look, it did have only three uh, grams of added sugar and this one does have 20 grams of added sugar but you know it tastes good right 
And I don't feel like it's still like really sweet. And I think that's because it's the lemon ginger flavor. I feel like if I had like a more fruitier flavor, it probably would be sweeter. <sighs> Come on y'all, let me set y'all up. Me, I was on my damn love sack having a good time scrolling. Now I gotta stop to have a damn call. I do not like people tell, oh shit, I guess I gotta take this off, huh? <laughs> I don't like people telling me what to do with my time. Take back your time, what was that thing? Y'all remember that meme about taking your time back? Oh, hold on, let me look in the mirror. Girl, I just need you to lay down real quick while we get on this call. There she go right now messaging me. Time for you to check in for your call. Oh wait, am I not doing this on my computer? Oh yeah, they sent the email. I don't, I'm gonna get on the um, Google thing on my computer. Anyway. Um, I think I'm gonna set y'all behind me because I actually do have to get footage of this for the actual sponsorship. But see, I'm against the light. Y'all know it'd be dark. I guess it'll be fine like this. Can I, if I turn on my light, will it make it better? No, you know these damn apartments light. Oh my God, I literally turned the light on and it did nothing. Um, let me see. Do I need it to be behind me? I don't need it to, but if I could kind of just like do it from the side. Yeah, this is good. Okay. All right, this is good. This is enough light. I don't want the covers like in the shot, but I'm slick cold. <laughs> I'm originally from Arizona, okay. so um, yeah, we've been kind of all over though. We don't quite know where we're going next, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> so yeah, so I saw that you were using Copilot before, so I'd love to kind of hear a little bit about kind of your goals on this journey, you know, maybe like what you were liking about Copilot and what maybe some changes, and then we can talk about, you know, your workouts moving forward. Okay, so when I use things like this, this is mostly like hit stuff, but I'm not like a hit girl. <laughs> so, so like... No, no, not, not at all. So that's what we'll get into next. Okay. I'm, I'm not a hit girl either. Like some people love it. Awesome. I don't. Um, so I am more of like a strict strength training girl mm -hmm. myself. I can do whatever style workout works best for you. So let's kind of talk about um, your history with fitness and what you like, and then we'll kind of talk about what workouts and format you want moving forward. And what about, you said squat. So when you squat, do you use like the squat rack? Yes. And what weight do you put um, like total, including the bar? So today I did 275. Okay, awesome. And how many reps and sets do you do for that? Well, I try to see how many I can do. I only could do five with that weight. That's awesome. <laughs> That's really good. When you do deadlifts, do you do them on leg day or back day? Leg. Thank you. I don't get, okay, yeah, I don't get the back. I, I, I know that you're using it, but you're, it's mostly hamstrings and like legs. Yeah. Okay. okay, so that definitely helps with the power lifting. So typically it would start people off with like three sets of 10 reps, but because you are more experienced, I would probably start you off with like heavier weights and lower reps for more of that sort of power lifting feel um, with like longer rest periods. today yes I'm still drinking this kombucha I like to sip it like all through the day who would have thought I would have became a kombucha girl do y'all like these sweatpants I, this is kind of gross but <laughs> I've been wearing these sweatpants for the last like three days well since the day I was in the house I was like well I don't see like they're not physically dirty or anything and I really like the way they look. 
I'm gonna show y'all in the mirror because like they're really long and like I really like flowy like big pants and I thought it was gonna be over for me you know because it's getting hot and you know with the sweats but I was like these ain't really no different from like the summer flowy type pants it's just a different material but I really like the way they look on me anyway I was doing some work and I was I wanted to come and tell y'all about something that really get on my nerves so everybody I ain't gonna say everybody but y'all know how like people want to be influencers they want to do this they want to do that and like part of your money is like working with brands y'all as much as I was saying like I didn't really care to like have a business outside of YouTube when I tell y'all I really just want to make my YouTube videos and I wish that all I had was make YouTube videos and I didn't have to worry about partnerships and all of that like YouTube would just sustain me because working with these brands ooh child listen why did I'm not gonna say their name but it's a y'all have seen these jumpsuits everywhere this brand has these like popular jumpsuits was reaching out and they sent me like they didn't send the physical product but they sent like the list of their newest collection coming out blah 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 and it was like yeah what are your rates what are your rates okay so first of all y'all know what my numbers look like i don't have like the best engagement but i don't have the worst engagement let's not forget though i have to film this stuff especially when it's like clothes i'm probably going to put makeup on i gotta film i gotta edit i do all this i'm not saying oh you better give me five thousand dollars but everything I just told y'all, y'all don't even have to know nothing about influencer marketing. When I tell y'all this number, you're going to be like, baby, why this brand sit up here and take the time to even ask me my rates? And then when I tell them my rates, which was so far off from the number, y'all, I told them my rates. Let me do it like this. If you ask me, oh, you don't want these pants, you want to sell these pants, how much you want for them? And I tell you, I want $100 for them. Why would you come to me and be like, I got 15, 115, you couldn't even say half, which was 50, you couldn't even say like 60, 70, or 15, so I told this brand my rate, they want me to do, now mind you, this is a whole trial haul with multiple pieces, all the other stuff I just mentioned, baby, they offered me $50, $50. $25 twice. Okay, do y'all not know the economy we live in? Because I can't even fill my tank with $50. What are you, what are you talking about? Oh my God. So anyway, y'all, I keep having to move y'all around because I actually have y'all like on my big girl tripod. Ooh, that's a little janky. I'm about to eat at six o'clock. This is my lunch because I eat my first meal of the day so late. I tried to make me some tuna last night, y'all. I don't know what I did wrong. I'm going to talk about it. Maybe I didn't have enough mayo, but I'm not. You know how you have a tuna salad and it's this big thing and you can eat it multiple times? I just want to eat it once. And then I feel like it was too much tuna. I tried to make a tuna sandwich with falling off the bread. I don't know. I didn't like it. And I said, forget what y'all heard, all the stuff y'all been saying. I like it better when I can just buy my chicken breast salad I already made. My tuna already made. I know it's high. But it's just, I don't have to do all this. I'm over here. Where's my bread? Where's the bread that I bought yesterday? What? Oh, why is it on the floor? I'm over here wasting all this time trying to add all these condiments. And it's not good. So I don't think I want to do this no more. Because I don't want to make tuna like how we, you know, to know to make it and you eat on it. I want to just make one serving, but I want to use the whole can. <laughs> also, y'all remember when I put y'all on those sweet potato chips from Target and then I ate them too much and I got tired of them, but I, 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 dropped, I dropped them, y'all. Damn. I absolutely love sweet potato chips. They so good. Now, we talked about like half as when See, I be walking away from the camera trying to talk. We talked about like half ass weighing, weighing like the food. So I didn't weigh this yesterday, but I feel like I didn't use a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and weigh it today. I know that I could just zero it out, but to be honest with y'all, it's been so long since I like tracked food. I kind of forgot and I don't want to mess it up. So let me weigh this butter out. This is black truffle butter and it smells amazing. It's super good. Let's see, because I'm pretty sure that I used just a regular serving size yesterday. 
which was 60 calories, but I, I didn't wear it. But since I just got on here and complained about tracking, I guess I need to do my part. But I still don't understand. Because I'm telling you, when I just be living my life, and that's why I'm like, I don't understand. And this has happened so many times. So they telling me nine grams of 60 calories. I'm going to think, I'm going to try to scoop. I think this is about how much I got last night. Let me see what that is. Ugh. Yeah, that's five grams. And I want some more. That's almost double the dough. It is. It's 12 grams. Okay, I don't care. We're going to... 12? Oh, you told me the 12 grams is only 80 calories. Okay. Run it. Look at me spending the money in my damn calorie bank. <laughs> so, I'm going to let that melt. And then, I know I'm going to have two slices of bread, even if I don't sandwich it. I put cheese on it last night to make like a melt. But to be honest with you, we can skip that. So, I'm going to come over and make my tuna mixture, y'all. Don't talk about it. Oh, I didn't use those damn onions. I bought, um, what's that called? I bought sliced onion, diced onions, like a week ago to do this. And I and I, when I made the tuna yesterday, I didn't even use them. <sighs> Wasting food. Okay, y'all. So, this, oh, this tuna has olive oil in it. Which I was thinking maybe it was too oily because I'm pretty sure when my mama was making tuna, she wasn't using the kind that was in olive oil. She probably was using the kind that was in water. But y'all. But y'all also know that this tuna tastes the best. But it just. I don't remember what I was using this tuna for because I haven't bought this tuna in years. But when I was buying tuna, that's what I was using. And I don't even remember what I was doing with the tuna. Cause I don't think I've ever was one to make like tuna salad for real. So anyway, this mayo thing is where, you know, all that stuff come in. And this is exactly why I just would prefer to just buy my stuff already made y'all. Like I'm not gonna hold y'all, especially like when you tracking and even like when I wasn't tracking and then this ain't even showing up right Lord. When I wasn't tracking, um, I could still like have a sense of what I was doing based on based on like what the packaging would say so again when you don't when you making everything yourself like this you have to weigh out all these ingredients and do all of this and then that's how it get complex with you know how many calories and this isn't that so like for instance if i would if i had the sprouts tuna i wouldn't have to be doing all this weighing with tomato and stuff so this is 15 grams and that's 50 calories I'm going to put some on. I'm going to put, that was, that's 18. That's not, actually it's 19. See, uh-uh, I don't like all this. So this, I feel like probably ain't going to be enough, but I'm not adding no more because yesterday, my tuna was real, like, soupy, and it wouldn't stand on the bread. And yeah, it doesn't, I don't know, y'all. It didn't look good yesterday. It wasn't really good. So I ate it on the bread. The best thing was I could taste the bread and the butter. Because I ain't going to hold you like, no, the tuna wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't good. It was real soupy and it was real messy. So I'm not gonna add any more mayo because when I added more yesterday, I didn't feel like it made a difference. But I am gonna add some lemon juice. And I wish I had some ranch seasoning. Y'all look at this. Don't look nothing close to no dog on tuna salad, like at all. <laughs> ah! It's pretty good though, like Again, it doesn't taste like the Sprouts tuna, or it doesn't taste like um, the chicken breast you get from Publix. But it's still pretty good. I actually think it tastes better than it tasted yesterday when I tried to put all that mayonnaise in it to make it look like how regular tuna would look. We're also eating 30 grams of protein, so I'm not mad. This is actually, I'm going to have to keep on buying my little tuna. I don't lie. Mm -hmm. This is way better than yesterday. I don't know. I don't know if it was just too soupy yesterday. I don't know what I did. Okay, y'all, so when I finish my work and um, I'm typically done for the day with the things I have to do as far as this adulting, 
like I don't really have nothing to clean and let me say that lightly because it's always something to clean if you know you know but it's not that I didn't say I was gonna clean like I didn't say oh I'm gonna wash a load of clothes I'm gonna clean the kitchen like I didn't say that today then um I do my gratitude in the morning sometimes I, I like to spend some time like with God I guess I call it and I pray and then I read about stuff that might relate to something I'm going through or something like that and sometimes I do it in the morning sometimes I don't sometimes I do it like when I'm done with all my work and I'm like settling down like it's 7 o'clock, I'll do it. Or like I might do it at night. It just kind of depends. But this is kind of like me just, you know, going about my day. So I was going to um, write down my April goals in my iPad. And I'm not saying I won't because I told y'all I was going to do a bath later. So I might do it in the bath. Like write down my April goals and all of that. Or I'll read or something like that. Or if I'm just not feeling it, I'll sit here and scroll. I might watch TV. You know, kind of like my leisure time. But I wanted to talk to y'all about something because I was asking my mom. Oh, I never showed y'all my pants. Y'all know I'm all over the place. Hold on. I'm definitely going to link these in the um, description box because I absolutely love these. Do y'all see these? So these come from Pretty Little Thing. They're like cargo sweatpants. They're really, really long. Like really long. And they actually like they... Y'all, sometimes I don't know my size, but they have this tie here, so they, I, don't, I thought they was tied, but if I tied them, I don't want to put my camera down. If I tied them, they would fit, like, just like that, so they're not, like, tight. They're really loose, and they only, like, fit on the waist. Oh, my God, they're so cute. I don't have these pants on for three days. That's a damn shame. But I really love them. Like, and they're really cute and they're good for lounge. And also, like, if I needed to go somewhere, like, they're cute. She's cute. This is just a highest sample top that I have on. And I love these because they're like, like, it's like that slinky material. Dare I say skims? Because how the hell would I know? I ain't got no skims. But it made me feel like what skims probably would feel like they might be a little softer. These are so cute. What size are these? I think they're a 12. They are a 16, but that's like in the UK size. So that means they're a like US 14. And that's why a pretty little thing be, I be, I don't know. That's why they kind of big. But I actually kind of like them oversized, so I'm not mad at that. Okay, so sorry about me being all over the place. So back to what I was talking about. I was talking to my mom about Exodus. Um, I personally never read the book of Exodus, but the reason why I came up is because I forgot what I was. I was reading something about the waiting season. Um, it was a blog post, actually, and this lady was like, a lot of times we feel like the waiting season is when we are supposed to just keep doing what we are doing currently until God tells us to move and do something different and there's nothing exciting happening or nothing spectacular and that's why you're kind of like waiting for like okay now what but sometimes she was like it doesn't have to be us continuing to do what we're doing until we're waiting for the next direction it could be we're not supposed to be doing anything and we're literally just supposed to be sitting at God's feet like to get closer to him so with that being said it's, I think it went off to something about that's why it took the Israelites 40 years to complete um, something that's supposed to take them like two weeks, 11 days, something like that. And I knew the story. Like, we all are familiar with it. took them 40 years. They was in the wilderness, right? And I was like, why did it take them 40 years? Like, so then my mind wanted to know, like, why did it take them 40 years? And so, honestly, any of my Christian people here or you know spiritual, whatever, if you know or you have any insight, because I've asked my mom, I'm asking, why did it take the Israelites 40 years to go through the wilderness? So, like, when I asked my mom, she was like, and I, you know why. Like, it always tells you because they was disobedient. But me being the Gemini I am, the answer's not good enough. What you mean they was disobedient? Like, I want you to tell me, oh, the Israelites had said, or they did X, Y, Z. So, as I was going deep into it, and um, I'm going to link this YouTube channel I'll be looking at. I think it's called The Bible Project. I really like the videos that they make because they make they talk about the stories and stuff that happen in the Bible, but they make like little animations and they talk like really modern, like how I would talk to you, like Corinthians. So this is stuff like this. So if I was telling y'all what the Israelites did, I'd be like, so Moses went up there on the mountain to uh get the Ten Commandments from God, and then we came down. Oh wait, no, no, that happened after. So Moses went up there, he had to talk to God, right? And when Moses came back from talking to God, the doggone Israelites was over there worshiping the golden calf after they had just said they was going to listen. When he came back down from the mountain with the Ten Commandments, they said they was going to follow the Ten Commandments. And y'all already know one of the Ten Commandments is don't have no idols before God. So why the Israelites had the doggone golden calf up there worshiping it and they said they were going to do it? 
So basically, it talks like that. Not as urban or ethnic, of course, but it like is real, like modern day we talking. And I like that because I need to understand. So yeah, supposedly the Israelites was disobedient, and they agreed that they was gonna do the Ten Commandments because you know the Lord had just um got them out of the situation with Pharaoh. And y'all, it's so crazy, like being an adult and like trying to understand the Bible because you hear all these things like as a kid and they kind of just all get lost. So for instance, I always knew about, you know, uh, God parted the Red Sea. I did not know that that was with Moses and the Israelites and that's how they got rid of Pharaoh and then Pharaoh's armies drowned. Like, I didn't know none of that, but I just heard, you know, you heard about the dog on sea part. And that's just one of the things that you hear just like you hear about Noah's Ark and what is the thing we, we hear about Adam and Eve and the apple but I didn't know it was Moses getting the Israelites away from Pharaoh and when Pharaoh army, army was coming after the Israelites that's why he parted the sea so the Israelites could get through and then he put it back and then they drowned like I ain't know that so anyway you know the Israelites are supposed to be thankful and all that for him because we I just got you out from up under this man and then I told y'all these rules I want you to follow. And then y'all said y'all was going to do it. Then I'm over here trying to talk about the Lord. Oh, you calling me and I'm over here vlogging trying to talk about the Lord. I literally was talking about the Lord. And here go the devil calling. Y'all, this night did not go at, at all how it was supposed to go. I was talking to y'all about Exodus in the Bible. Then I got a phone call. Then y'all little nephew dog been showing his tail that he don't got. He acted up. I had to throw him in the shower. Um, then I got another phone call. And now it's 9.30 and I was supposed to do my bath and soak. And I guess I guess we're not going to do it because now it's time to eat and like get in the bed. And y'all know if I ain't going to do one thing, I'm going to get in the bed. So um, this big old tripod is killing me because I do not like moving it. Um. We have a new just meat that I'm gonna eat tonight. I'm excited about it because I've been wanting to try this one. Cause y'all know I've been having um a lot of the chicken breast ones, and I'm not really a chicken breast fan. So I have the just meats Texas rub chicken thigh. It's thigh. I'm excited. And also a lot of y'all have purchased meats from just meat, and y'all was telling me y'all liked them and they were so good, so easy. And one of y'all was like, Oh, it helped me get my husband meal prep, and I love that for you, girl. I do love that for you because at least some of us have husbands. <sighs> I do not like this tripod thing. So I'm going to, oh, I thought I was going to make rice, but I forgot I have these potatoes and I need to eat these rosemary potatoes before they go bad. And asparagus. Why is it stuck? Oh my God. Something done spilled in these doggone refrigerators. That is gross. Anyway, y'all. Um, Chaotic, just like everything in my life. Why? Why? Why is this chaotic? So we're gonna try our just meats and um have our asparagus and all that. But I did want to finish my talk about the Exodus, and I don't remember what I said. Um, so we was talking about why why it took the Israelites 40 years to get through the wilderness and it was like because they wasn't listening to God and I remember saying all of that but I wanted to be more specific and I guess the specific the specific the, speci the specificity whatever y'all know what I'm trying to say what is that sticky stuff anyway again if anybody knows the story and would like to chime in and tell me that would be great but what I got out of my research is it really just it was really just them worshiping worshiping the false idol. So they was worshiping like the golden calf. And God was like no. So God punished them and made them. Take 40 years to get through the wilderness. Instead of the 11 days. But my thing is. I know I'm not God. And God know better and all that. But I feel like yeah punish us. But why you go from 11 days to 40 years. It couldn't have just been 6 months now. Or something like I feel like it was a big discrepancy. Also. When you look into it, it say a lot of the time, like, the reason it took them 40 years is because they weren't being obedient. They weren't being obedient. And again, I say I wanted to specify. But when you say that, it makes, it goes back to us not being obedient. And the point I'm trying to get to is something that we're supposed to get to, we can't get to it. We will eventually get to it, but we're not being obedient, so it's taking longer. I feel like that's the biggest message from that. There's not a time frame of, oh, well, it was supposed to take you three days, but now it's going to take you 40 years. It might literally only take you 40 years when it was supposed to take three months because you still ain't listening. 
So that's why I couldn't tie. So I was like, did he make it specifically take 40 years because they disobeyed? Or did they not get that shit together until 40 years? You see what I'm trying to say? Like, was it already specified because you done messed up that it's going to take 40 years? Or did it take you 40 years to get it together? But that obedience is a thing. So I'm really, like, caught up with the waiting season and obedience type thing. Um, I, again, have not read Exodus Where's my phone? I think Exodus is a really long book in the Bible because also when I was doing my research and I was the Bible project that I'm going to link in the description box was talking about how Exodus had the plans to build the tabernacle that Moses could go into um, so that he could talk to his people and they were like extravagant plans which means it's a lot and I'm like okay I, I ain't trying to be funny but I don't care about the plans to build the tabernacle I really don't <laughs> but let me go see um, Exodus where is the book? And I don't know where the books be at. Oh, wow. Exodus is literally the second book in the Bible. So this happened really quick. Didn't even know that. And yes, it's doggone 40 years. It's 40 books. No, the books in the Bible. It's 40 chapters. Verse. Yeah, it's 40 chapters. So let me try to see, cause I like y'all know I have like that special, not the it's not special, but the easy read version. So yeah, when I like how I just label. So if I go to that's Passover, uh, chapter fourteen, Pharaoh chases the Israelites. Like, I like how it breaks it down. So in Exodus fourteen verse five, it it, it tells you, um, like it has in bold right there, Pharaoh chases the Israelites, and then it says it's just so easy to read, um. But I really want to get to, like, so I could go to it and I guess um, just go to the part about them not listening. So, like, when you get to Exodus 16 and it says Israel complains, so God sends food. Like, that's the label that you can read. So, yeah, y'all was complaining on the trip and everything, and I sent y'all manna. Like, yes. Um, God's agreement with Israel. Uh-huh. Tell this to the Israelites, the great people, family of Jacob. You people saw what I did to the people of Egypt. You saw that I carried you out of Egypt like an eagle and brought you here to me. So now I tell you to obey my commandments and keep my agreement. So if you do this, you will be my own special people. The whole world belongs to me, but I am choosing you to be my own special people. You will be a special nation, a kingdom of priests. Moses, you must tell the Israelites what I said. So Moses called, climbed down the mountain. See, like it really is like easy to digest. And then he said he went back up and said they're going to obey him. And um, he told them about y'all need to get ready for this meeting. And then he climbed down the mountain and he was like, be ready for the meeting with God in three days. Until that time, do not have sexual relationships. But okay. And then he came down Mount Sinai, which is where they was, was covered with smoke. Mm -hmm. Go down and warn the people do not come near me and look at me if they do okay i'm just trying to see that then these were the ten commandments come up come up i want to see i'm going to read this but i want to get to the specific part where they was like oh forget that and then we broke the dog on ten commandments so this is when they get to the holy tent and they're making the dog on um, tabernacle oh the golden calf so that came exodus 32 the people saw that a long time had passed and moses had not come down from the mountain so he had already went back up there so that was left to their own device okay so they gathered around aaron and they said to him look moses let us let us out of the land of egypt but we don't know what has happened to him so make us some gods to go before us and lead us okay so Aaron said to the people, bring me the gold earrings that belong to your wives, sons, and daughters. So the people collected all the gold, brought them to Aaron. He took the gold from the people and he used it to make an idol. He made the calf. All right. So then they built the altar for the calf and all of that. And then they woke up the next morning. They killed animals and offered them as burnt offerings. At the same time, Lord told Moses, go down from this mountain. See what they're doing? You, the, you people, your people, the people you bought 
out of Egypt have committed a terrible sin. They have very quickly turned away from what I commanded them to do. They made a cow from melted gold for themselves. They are worshiping that calf and making sacrifices to it. The people have said, Israel, these are the gods that led you out of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I have seen these people and I know that they are very stubborn. Y'all, this is exactly how I say it. Like, I love this. It's just so straight to the point. They will always turn against me. So now let me destroy them in anger. Then I will make a great nation from you. And then Moses begged, please, God, no, don't do it. You don't say it like that, but... You brought them out of Egypt with your great power and strength, but if you destroy your people, the Egyptians will say God put not do bad things to his people. Okay, so then God felt, Lord felt sorry for the people he did. He did not do what he said he might do. He did not destroy them. Then Moses went down from the mountain. He had the two stone tablets with the agreements on them, and the commandments was written on both sides, of front and back. God himself made the stones, and God himself wrote the commandments on them. Mm-hmm. When Moses came down near the camp, he saw the golden calf and the people dancing. He was angry and he threw the stone tablets on the ground. Moses destroyed the calf that the people made. And he said to Aaron, what did these people do, you, do to you that you would make you do this? Why did you lead them to do such a terrible sin? And Aaron answered, don't be angry, sir. You know that these people are always ready to do wrong. Oh, this is good. <laughs> this is good. I'm not just trying to read it, y'all, but I'm really... I didn't want to read Exodus because I thought I was going to just talk about building the tabernacle, but no, this is good. But I want to see where... Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. So you have committed a terrible sin, but now I will go to the Lord and maybe I can do something so he can forgive you. I just want... I really want to get... Um, why the 40 years? Like, did God literally say, it's going to take y'all 40 years, or did it take them 40 years to get their stuff together? But it doesn't say I wanted to see if it had like a special one. Cause no, now we in Leviticus. I wanted to see if it had like a special, like how it had the other ones labeled, like, like God specifically said, now nah, it's gonna take y'all 40 years because y'all ain't got y'all ish together. The only thing that I don't care for is like when I make my just meats meals, is they be looking like let me tilt y'all down. They don't look appeasing. Uh, <laughs> it's like a generic like Thanksgiving dinner. And to be honest with y'all, I'm not even hungry. Like, when you be eating protein, or maybe I'm just not hungry because I ain't even eat that much. I eat like 120 grams. That's not too much. Look, you're not even hungry till you start eating the food, and the food's good, and you like, oh, yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> I really just want my Olipop because I'm itchy, the carbonation. I got to the fact where like my outside my face is itchy. That carbonation on your throat feels so good when them allergies is up. I took a Benadryl last night and still nose was running like last night. Like I cannot get a break. John Sherry, private investigator. I my patients. Which patients? I asked around about you. No one can remember laying eyes on you directly. Oh, well, it's Larry. Why do you run him off? He made too many other girls uncomfortable, including my own. Last time we ever saw him, he gave me that. She was.